Hello, Top Fan Rivalry followers. It is Bill from Top Fan Rivalry. I'm going to come to you with another just quick thing. Boy, we've been trying to get this done every week, and it's been so tough. It's Monday. It's the 8th of May. Gosh, I wish I had been not uh, taking the last two weeks off from this. Spent so much baseball, so many fun things to talk about. Let's just break it down, though. Okay, as I promised, we're always going to do uh, you know, a little bit of standings and stats and stuff like that. But you guys can see that around the diamond. That's in the clubhouse or that's in the locker room. You guys know how to get there. Topfenrivalry.com. Click on the locker room, get your locker room access. Life's good, right? Okay. So wow. 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 Tampa Bay 28 and 7 already. Baltimore 22 and 12. That's incredible. Right. And let's not forget all the stolen bases and all the freaking home runs that are being hit. Feels like and you have all these strikeouts and things like that. You feel like everything is happening for the MLB in the right way. Just crazy. But a couple of topics uh, to, to take on right now. Houston Astros, who I predicted could win the West, although I, I think the Angels still are going to win the West. Houston Astros um, have a lot of guys on the DL right now, or the IL, right? It's tough. It's going to be really, really tough. Uh, the Dodgers have gone 8-2 and two in their last 10 games. Uh Obviously, there was a little brouhaha stuff happening this weekend with the Dodgers down at Petco uh, with a meme with Clayton Kershaw. Listen, I'm doing a podcast that will drop tomorrow morning. It's already been recorded. We're going to discuss a little bit of that. That's going to be all kinds of fun because it's rivalry week still. You got the Braves. You got the Red Sox playing each other. You got the Dodgers. You got the, the Padres. Some may say, hey, the Dodgers and Padres aren't rivals. Right now, they are. Some may say, hey. Uh, Braves and Red Sox aren't rivals, but let's not um, kid ourselves. That's where the Braves started was in Boston, right? But my topic today that I want to discuss for two or three minutes with you is the New York Metropolitans. Obviously, I put up a really cool background, a city field for you there. Um, I've never been. I cannot wait to go. Um, but the Mets are 17 and 18 right now. Definitely not the start that they thought they'd have 35 games into it. Um, so let's let's just kind of break that down for a second. As we've already discussed, you need to beat up on the teams that are struggling to find identity, right? And the Mets got got taken advantage of by a Tigers team that's just getting hot right now. Um, the rest of the games that the Mets have this month, they have 21 games left this month. Of all 21 of those um, games, 15 of the 21 are with teams that are struggling. Cincinnati. Um, Washington, Cleveland, uh, Colorado, although Colorado is playing hot right now in Philadelphia. And I, I didn't want to tell you what, what's going on in Philadelphia. Um, they do have the Cubs who are at 500 right now. Um, but again, Cincinnati, the Nats, you know, Cleveland, Colorado, Philadelphia is 15 of your 21 games. This is your month. If you're a New York Mets fan, this is your month. You got to make it happen. You got to do the very basic things going back to the the first episode that I had posted a couple of weeks back that talked about playing small ball. You got to play small ball. You got to have fun with the small ball. You got to be able to do different things with small ball. Right. And you got to make physical mistakes are going to happen. They're just going to happen. You've got to eliminate the mental mistakes. As long as you can eliminate the mental mistakes, you can do anything and everything possible. So, Top fan rivalry followers, that's what I got for you. Man, the, the Mets, what's for you, Met fans? Hey, make some comments. You know, check it out. Let me know what's going on. Right. What are you guys feeling out there? I mean, you guys got Scherzer, you got um Verlander back now, although both of them didn't have awesome starts in, in Detroit. You can hit the reset button. We're going into summertime, so it's gonna be a good time. But tell me what you think. I'm interested to know. Um, and especially with your schedule in May, how you feel that this is going to play out. So Top Fan Rivalry followers, check it out. Make sure that you're doing a couple of things. One, make sure you've subscribed to our page because we are going to have stuff up every week, I promise you. More than uh, more than expected. A lot of things are going to be happening real quick and rapid fire, and you're going to want to see it. Two, go in and follow us on Twitter. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Um, and also uh, check us out on Facebook. So go to all of our socials. Right, go to topfanrivalry.com, check out the locker room access. Um, you're gonna love it. You're not gonna want to miss the content that's there. So that all being said, one last thing I want to tip my hat to Mr. Vita Blue, who um, has passed away. 
what a great ambassador for the game, what a great athlete he was. Um, so, and he played for some very good uh, Oakland A's team. So Vita Blue, and to your family, hats off to you. Uh, and we appreciate what you did for the game. Top fan rivalry followers, we'll look forward to talking to you here real soon uh, on another episode.